So today we've got the kids in tow, down school holidays. And one of the first things that we're going to do is uh, put some of this lining paper in the window. So we've got a little bit of privacy whilst we're kitting the place out and also create an element of surprise when we open up because we want people to think, what's going on in there? You know, all the, all the folks who aren't necessarily reckless. Right, you want to help me with this, Doc? Yep. No, that there, uh, boys. Put your hand down flat on it, don't move that. I think this afternoon we're going to explore the cellar and do a little bit more work down there. That's one of the first things I want to get done, the cellar and the bar. So I've spent several hours uh, moving tables and chairs into the new place and we've come across, uh, or I've decided to look at these leather chairs that we picked up from that hull in, au hull in auction, <laughs> that auction in the hull and uh, the leather chairs that we picked up the bottoms are dropping out of them a little bit and they're a bit low so this is what I've done you might laugh but once I've stained the timber you'll not even notice so we've put this chair on stilts hey you like that it's given us an extra four inches of height and then where the base has been dropping out underneath well very simply We've just affixed a board onto the bottom to push all the springs back up and quite frankly Oh, it's way more comfortable Way more leg pep So, uh, anyway, because uh, I've not got many more jobs that I actually want to do today <laughs> I think I'm going to go into the fridge and crack open a bottle of beer that John Campbell brought down for us. It is Campbell, isn't it? Like the soup. Anyway, uh, I'll go and get a beer, we'll have a beer. It's just gone two o'clock, so it's past lunchtime for me on a Friday. And then I've uh, actually got to go and repair the system on the gents' toilets next door for the urinals, it's dripping a little bit. Uh, because we've got the license and everything through, Stuart's decided to rent the beer garden out for the weekend to a couple who are having a birthday party. Hey, eh? what a businessman, always thinking. Anyway, let's have a beer. Hey, go on boy, in no case. Look at them beautiful casks and keg. Okay, what we got in here? Oh, I'd just like to say a big thanks to Spider for bringing me a cherry chuff all the way back from uh, Belgium. Uh, what are we going to have then? Yeah, my African Queen smash. I think we'll be doing that. You notice the strawberry cider's gone. I had that. A little bit sharp for my taste. But yes, it's gone. Well, shall we do the India Pale Lager? Let's do the lager. Come on then, let's do the lager. So here we go boys and girls, don't have a bottle opener to hand, but I do have a bunch of keys in my old porochette. So let's just see if we can get, oh yeah, just like that he says. Right, cheers John boy. Let's get a bit aggressive on the bitch. Oh yes, that's going to clear up nicely. Poor old chance is suffering in this heat. You get laid down in here mate, it's nice and cool in here, isn't it bud? So yeah, oh, what's that? Muck off the side. So I'm going to do the system in a minute, so probably only going to be a tweak on a ball valve. And then what I want to do is clean out all of the junk that's in here. Like, some of it's not junk. 
Right down here we've got an Evo 70 Cornelius. I think it's a four line beer chiller. So I want to oink that out, take it into the workshop and just see if it works or not. I mean if this fires up, then you know, I'll use it, I'll get it installed. I might even, because I'm going to buy two big ten line beer chillers for in here, but I might even take that home <laughs> and uh, get rid get rid of the bar chiller and just run all my beer through one of these. That'd be so much more convenient. Anyway, it might not even work. So let's just hope it's charged up. It's got gas in it. The refrigerant's not leaking. And if that is the case, we will utilize the bad boy. Well, this is an angle you don't see every day, isn't it? Oh, it really is a good job. Cheers, man. Right. Let's stick our head in the system up here and have a little look at the problem it is. It's just spraying water everywhere. Let them know what this is. Must this just continually fill up and drain, fill up and drain? Doesn't even have stopcock. This is unbelievable. There's an ISO valve in the wall. An electrical plate. I just need a uh, set of pliers or a spanner. Spanner. Let's see if this turns this off. Huh. Bingo, found it. basically got a rad valve, a radiator dra drain down valve, just set to slightly spray into the unit and uh, fitted on with one of these and there looks to be, sorry Howard, there looks to be a little hole just there, you probably not see it. It's just a little pimp. Yeah, you can see that a little pinprick hole just there. That's where it's leaking from. And we just zip this off. You can see that the stop cock coming through the wall. How weird is that? Well, it just looks like the pipe work and an earth plate to me. Very odd. I'm going to take the ladders back off you and investigate, boys. Apart from the fact that I'm dying of heat exhaustion today, we're doing all right for tasks done. So I've just uh, been on the Screwfix website because Toolstation didn't have what I wanted. Uh, I've ordered another one of these. I've ordered a new lock, thumb lock, because there's no key for this, for the cellar. So I'm going to change that one out altogether. And I've also ordered one of these that we fitted a couple of weeks back, remember? That bad boy. Well, I've got one of them for the cellar and then two of the four foot, the smaller ones, for the two stock rooms. Because I just don't like having a light bulb dangling down where you can smash your head on it. So we'll get these, we'll put them in, two minute job, and then we'll, then we'll have enough light in all the stock rooms to be able to see what we're doing. Moving forwards. The kids are testing out the new chair, it's comfy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. but he's what? Letting me have another go. What? He's not. He's not letting me have another. Go. You don't have to take them on to speak. Take them off to speak. Oh God, we're all at it, aren't we? Let like, Abby have another go then. It's a better height, isn't it, Dom? Yeah. Is that a really? 
It's uh, not bulgy in the bottom, is it, on the seat anymore? Because no, I put that plywood underneath. It doesn't underneath. suck you in. Yeah, it doesn't suck you in. So we'll do them all like that. Yeah. I've got a bit of stain as well for the legs. So we can just uh, stain them brown so you can't tell that I've got the stilts on them. Right, so it's about time for Gemma to finish work. So I think what we'll do is go and pick her up. And we'll all cruise across to Screwfix and pick all the bits up. Jesus Christ, I'm flagging. I'm flagging. It's only three o'clock. Let's go.